Hello there, I often talk about multitasking products on my channel or making products multitask by applying them in several ways, usually on the cheeks, eyes, sometimes lips. It creates a cool colour blocked look, it's simple to pack or put one product in your bag, but it's most appealing to me because it's so quick and easy to swipe one product on. I personally find cream blushes are the best multitaskers. A stick product in particular is great to swipe straight onto the skin and the textures blend well with your fingers for a natural finish. But how do you work out which products could be good multitaskers? It's really just about seeing which colour colors or textures appeal to you. Have fun with it. Use your eye, see which shades you're drawn to or what you feel inspired to experiment with. You'll all have different shades that you love on your particular skin tone. For me, the three color families I use most as multitaskers are tans or browns for a sun-kissed look, oh, hello. more neutral rosy shades for something softer, and some warm burnt oranges that are summery and fresh. Let's see all of those in action. Certainly not an exhaustive list of my favourite multitaskers, I've just stuck to blush sticks and shades I reach for most, but let me know if you'd like more multitasking episodes. Starting with the soft tans or browns that create a bronzed look on cheeks and add depth to the eyes. Charlotte Tilbury's Beach Stick in Formentera is one of my all-time favourite multitasking shades, I've nearly finished the whole thing. A great warm rosy brown that's a perfect three-in-one for cheeks, lips and eyes, super dewy and creamy. Someone told me a terrible rumour that this shade's being discontinued so I just stocked up during the Sephora VIB sale. The Chanel Le Beige blush sticks are one of my holy grail products because of the great formula and this versatile shade number 20. So smooth and slightly mousse-like, it blends beautifully on the cheeks and looks great as a tan brown on the eyes too. Not quite as rosy as Formentera above. Nude Sticks Nudies Matte in Sunkissed is a late entry into my multitasking life, but my god, I love this shade. It's sold as a bronzer, but it's quite rosy, so I love it as a perfect sun-kissed blush and cream shadow too. More matte and pigmented than the others, but still creamy so it blends well and doesn't look flat. Onto some pinky, peachy neutrals which feel slightly more feminine and fresh. I discovered the YSL Baby Doll Kiss and Blush Stick in number 6 from Prude to Nude through Zoe Kravitz, who I featured on my channel before. This two-toned peach nude was used by makeup artist Nina Park on Zoe's eyes and cheeks at the 2018 Met Gala. Stunning. The two shades combine to create a great warm peach that makes cheeks and eyes pop. Milk Makeup's Chunky Lip and Cheek Stick in Work is a classic dusty rose that freshens up the cheeks, looks lovely patted onto the eyes and delicate on the lips. Very creamy and dewy, you can even see on the top of the blush stick itself that it has a nice balmy glow to it for a healthy flush. Now this is sort of halfway between a cream and a liquid blush. Chanel's Rouge Coco Lip Blush is a sensationally smooth, lightweight formula and the shade 414 Tender Rose is such a pretty soft coral pink. I actually stole the idea to wear it on the cheeks and eyes after Saoirse Ronan wore it that way to the 2018 Oscars. Heading into slightly deeper territory now with Sunset Sienna and Orange. The Make Beauty Bizu Bizu Lip and Cheek Stick appeared in my 2018 Makeup Favourites video and really ruled the multitasking roost for me back then. The deep terracotta burnt sienna shade just blew me away. Very pigmented and creamy so you don't need much to sheer it out as a light layer. My favourite spot for this? the eyes. Ilia Multi Sticks have popped up many times on my channel, such a beautiful sheer dewy formula from the clean beauty scene. Cheek to Cheek is a shade I always go back to, a bright burnt orange that looks summery and fresh and adds a dewy glow to cheeks and eyes. Finally, the Sisley Fito Blush Twist in number 3, Papaya. Less of an obvious multitasking colour choice, but I love a wash of this bright coral on my cheeks and eyes in summer. The formula is super soft and has a slightly whipped texture so it's barely there on the skin. I'd love to hear if you make your makeup multitask too. It's super simple, but just creates a polished look with very little effort. What sort of products do you use as multitaskers and how do you use them? Please share your tips and tricks in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.